Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of With The Light Butter. It's your girl, Ashley. In today's recipe, we're going to make a classic pound cake. So the basis of a pound cake is a pound of everything, just four ingredients. You're going to need flour, sugar, butter, and eggs. That's it. We're not going to use any baking powder because we have plenty of eggs in this recipe to make sure that the pound cake rises the way it needs to. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'll show you how it's done. Let's go. Okay, y'all, correction, not four ingredients, but five. The vanilla extract is optional, but to me, it's a must. You need a little flavor in the cake, right? Okay, so we're adding our butter and our sugar here, and we're going to start the creaming process, y'all. You want to go slow with this process, cream your butter and your sugar together. That's part of what also creates the rise in your cake. Now, this is fast here, but that's not how I, you know, how fast I moved the mixer while I was blending the ingredients together. I just sped it up for you all. Okay, and so we're um, scraping down the sides of our bowl right here before adding our eggs. And we're going to add our eggs one at a time, you all know, making sure that um, each egg is combined after each addition. And then after that, we're going to add our vanilla extract in here just until blended. And then we're going to go ahead and scrape the sides of our bowl down again. Okay, and after we've done that, we're going to add our flour. Now, you can add your flour in three separate parts. You just do not want to add your flour all at once. And make sure that your mixer is on slow so it doesn't kick your flour out. So just until it's about combined, that's when you can add um, your second or your next portion of your flour mixture, okay? And after you have it all combined, you know, I mix until almost all the way mixed so we don't overmix our cake. You can get in there with your spoon and go ahead and stir it the rest of the way. So I'm using this beautiful pan. You know, I've been waiting to use it when I made like something basic because the pan like this is so pretty. You don't want to mess up by decorating the cake with like icing. You know, I may try something like that one day, but yeah, I just wanted the beauty of this pan. So as always, we're going to go ahead and spray the hell out of it. And then we're going to add our batter right into the pan. Now, some may use milk with this recipe. I don't. You can't. I tried to keep this pound cake as traditional as possible. That's why we're calling it a classic pound cake. Pound cake recipes have evolved over the years. You can also check out my blog post for a little bit more about pound cakes. But I tried to keep it, you know, as traditional as possible. So I baked this in a cold oven, 325 degrees for about an hour and 15 minutes. And here we go with the nice reveal. Voila, baby, that thing is so pretty, okay? Let's give it a nice little twirl. All right, and let me show y'all real quick how I decorated this cake. I wanted it to be nice and pretty, so I decided to go with strawberries and blueberries, both colors for like a nice color contrast, okay? So just, you know, space my, um, my strawberries out and then I went ahead and put the blueberries in the middle in the mix and stuff like that so it can be nice and pretty. So this is um, a good idea for you all if you just want to give your cake um, some nice decor. Because the cake, you know, even though the pan made the cake really pretty, it's kind of plain by itself. As always, I hope that you all love this recipe. Before you leave, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't be stingy. Make sure that you share. And join us for more over here at With the Light Butter.